Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about the new fade in zoom frame craze that's going out, the new zoom frame phenomenon. Um, here's a slight twist on that version. Okay, so you say, well, it looks like the other one, so what's the twist? Well, here's the twist right here, is what you were looking at was not a slide template. It was actually an SWF. Um, and if you remember in some of the other videos, I've talked about how um, SWFs can be brought in as a layer, and slide templates are actually SWFs that are renamed VFS, but... Let's make a quick project real quick here. So that was basically a train scene. And what you'll be able to do here is just, um, well, what I'm gonna do is make it simple. I'm gonna create a scene and I'm gonna add animation and I'm gonna bring in a flash animation. It's not a slide. And what it is, it's an SWF. So I'm gonna go over here where I have the SWS living and grab this one right on up should be train frame there we go now I could have it come in sketching or not but right now I'm just gonna give you a quick example uh, so here is the frame see this is just an SWF you know and this is clear in here I left some uh, some smokiness, some sh some shading in here, so it looked like it's a window with a label on it, and there's a logo right there. So there's a dark background; you can see it. So what I'm gonna do is make that full scale, full screen, close it. Okay. Now what I want to do is in the scene itself, I want to put a video in the background. As you can see, the um, SWF is animating. So let me go over here and get a video. If I can get something a little different. If you're looking at a train window, you want to see something that would actually be out there. But none of these videos are going to help me do that. Okay, well, there's one outside video. So let's preview this thing. See the, the white stuff here in the window? Zooming on in. So whatever your background video is, that would be um, what people would see. And then, you know, if you wanted to, um, you could create another scene, add another video, and or start doing another sequence. I'll just, just, just bring a regular slide in here. So if you look at the preview, you've got your frame, video behind it, then it's gonna zoom in, let you see more of that frame. And then you're gonna mix into your next uh, display. Now it could have been another video or whatever else you wanted, but this was just, just to show you a little cheap transition. So basically what I did was, um, this here is a SWF that has the picture. You can't change this picture. It's built into the SW. The advantage of having a slide is that you can go in and change the pictures, but this way it's just nice, lightweight. If you have the ability to create SWFs, then this is the same PNG with a hole in it. Only thing different is that I added animation. So now it'll start in this direction and then it'll start to zoom on out and you're getting that same frame effect. Now I could have started at this position and then zoomed it in. So after you've had your display and everything else, then this thing starts to zoom in down on it and framing it, right? And then you probably could have timed it so that your logo would appear in the window or something. And, you know, but this here, I'm gonna give you, look for it in the file section. It's gonna call it called train frame, train frame. All right, take it easy.